Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minds of Insanity Season 3 Beta Single Player. I know it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, so I'm back from last time. Luckily I am... Wait a minute. When did this sheep get here? Uh, well, luckily, I just so happen to have the tool for the job. Don't know why I didn't use this in the first place, but... Oh, right, because I didn't have leather in the first place. There. There. Actually, now that I'm inside, I'll pick up the sheep again. seems I have some kind of sheep on my head, so there. Now the sheep is in here with the other sheep, and all is right with the world. Now these rabbits are all in here too, and the chickens are laying eggs like a bunch of weirdos. And I keep hoping for a rotten egg, but sadly I'm not getting one. Uh, the reason I want a rotten egg is because it would let me get a tamed cockatrice, which basically acts as a guard dog to your chickens. So, what I would like to do now that I have a um, griffin is uh, go for a little ride up to a slime island. So, let's, uh, let's, let's take a little ride. If we can find a slime island, it'll be that much better. I can't seem to find a slime island, at least not immediately nearby. Wait. Aha! Slime Island located. Now. So this is a purple slime island. Uh, 
Okay, good. Now we have a slime ball. <laughs> I mean, I feel kind of guilty taking the base of this tree. Here, let me see about congealed purple slime. Hmm. Okay, so they function exactly the same. The only difference is... Hey, if I can get nine of these, I can actually make a normal slime block, which is what I need. So, I'll get some of this slime stuff. Okay. So we've definitely had some progress. Good Dodo Quagga Griff. Okay. So these should turn into slime blocks. That's good. And I can turn this slime block into slime balls. So now I have two types of slime balls. One that isn't vanilla and has no EMC, and one that is vanilla and has an EMC. But you know what? My stuff is rather kerfuffled right now. I know that's an unusual word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of my crops and put them into a single chest. This will be that chest. From now on, all farmed food will be here. Let me just get these and put them where they belong. Suppose I can put those in there too, because they don't really belong anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Ooh, apples? Well, you can't really farm apples, can you? Let's see. Any uses? Magical apples. A culinary generator. That's not much. Ah. These are some special stuff. Let me make sure all these other chests are empty. Yeah, that still has my one glowstone remaining. And those have some magma blocks. Yep, looks like everything is in order so far. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, string, paper, conveyance dust. 
I could make that. I could. Uh, I just need more string. And I can make that from cobwebs. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Okay, uh, I'll need some sugar cane for paper. Oh right, you can you can turn cobwebs into string. Okay, so we have paper. Uh, I'll need a sword. Good. We have plenty of string. And I need the covalence dusts. Now, what was it again? Low, medium, high, high, medium, low. Okay, and Gadoosh. Yeah, see, now we ain't got to worry about none of this repair shit. Now we just got to give it a little break. Yes. Good, good, good. Oh wait, I I better put the sugar cane back in the box, which is right here. Yeah, and now I have slime balls, meaning I can make tethers and leads. This is good. I'll put them right here so we don't lose them. Uh, now the philosopher's stone. There's some possibilities of that. But before I go much further, yes. As I thought. So, I happen to have come across some pages of a manuscript. A bestiary. Let's see. So, I have a bestiary. Okay, a small tattered note clings to the bindings of the bestiary. It reads, meant to be a guide to those who would like to inform themselves about... Uh, a bestiary goes on to describe... Okay. Ingots. Silver weapons do extra damage to undead. Yeah, ooh, that's cool. Uh... Sapphires. Hmm. Nuggets of either gold or silver can be stored in placeable piles like so. Only way to obtain more information about the magical world is to research other writers' works. This can be done by crafting a lectern. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll craft a lectern. Let's see here, lectern. Okay, a book and two spruce wood planks. That should not be a problem. Matter of fact, I have a book over here somewhere. Uh, only one though. I suppose I could sacrifice some iron for it. See, this is this is equivalent exchange at its finest right here. 
Gotta love equivalency. See? Easy. Now I have books. Oh wait, I'll need wood too. <clears throat> Maybe it's just wood. Let me see. Yeah, it's any type of crafted wood. Boom. Okay. Now I should be able to put this in here, put this in here, and it should um, produce a more useful bestiary for when I need research information. Let's see what it added. Ah, hippocampuses still kind of rare. I'll just, uh, I'll let that run by itself for the moment. Uh, actually, I think it requires me to be there for the, um, ah, the snow villagers. Yes, they, they are, uh, they are a useful lot. They give me, um, well, they give me fishing material and sapphires. Hmm. Hmm. Hippogriffs. Good, good. Cockatrices. That's also good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, I mean, we got trolls, too. Tame dragons. Yeah, I'm not too interested in dragons for their taming ability. I'd much rather have uh, dragons hide and bones. Because they make some very nice tools. And that seems to be about the end of where their knowledge... Pixies. Because pixies can make off with your shit. Be careful. Mm. You know, maybe I should take those dragon bones and see about making some tools out of them. Mm. Mm, they require a wither bone to make something. Which is less than ideal, seeing as how I haven't found a uh, nether fortress. <sighs> Suppose I could take my hippogriff into the nether with me. It would make fighting things much more ideal. Problem with that is, though, uh, they are not fireproof. But, there could be a way that I could easily transport one.
if I could capture a bat and a ghast, I would be able to make some very nice wings. Ring of the Flying Chicken Wing Ring. So, feathers, iron ingots. Okay, resonating redstone crystals. Which requires an ender shard. Which requires a glass cutter and an ender pearl. Okay, so I should, should get some sticks and some iron ingots then. I need a glass cutter. I'll make two. Because obviously having more than one of the same tool is beneficial. Where'd I put that string? String. I use these gold nuggets and string to make something real good. Maybe it's backwards. Uh. Oh. It requires eight levels of experience to make a golden lasso. Hey, wait. I think I know how I can get eight. Well, that's weird. Usually whenever I smelt ore, it gives me experience. But whatever. Hmm. What could I use this gold for? You know, I wish they would add in a crafting recipe for horse armors. I mean, it's like, for some odd reason, they believe it wouldn't be possible for a human being to plan out how to put armor on a horse. You know, they, they act like that's, for some odd reason, preposterous and nonsensical. But it's not. Okay, put these here. Put this, and this, and this, and this, and these. I'll get this, because, you know, that would be useful. Put this stick back. Yeah, that should be all. That should be all I need. As long as I have this talisman in my inventory, I know that my tools probably aren't going to break. I'm not taking the hippogriff with me in here yet. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little exploration in the nether, off camera, and I'll be back when I find a nether fortress. So, until then, see you next time.